Are your date and timestamps in Power Automate not coming out the way you'd like? Whether you need to reformat a date time value or change your time zone to match your region, you can do it all with a single automated step. No code and no scripting required. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how it all works. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use workflow design and automation to help our members create more time for the work that actually matters. If you'd like to learn more about X-Ray and our services, check out our website at xray.tech. To see more automation tips and tutorials every week, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new way to save time. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to use the convert time zone action in Power Automate to reformat and convert dates and times however you'd like. Let's jump into it. To get started, open up any Cloudflow in Power Automate that has a date you want to format. I'll open up this automation that sends a Slack message for newly flagged emails in Outlook. As you can see here in Slack, this message sent time doesn't look great in its initial format. This is the date time that will adjust to a more easily readable layout. In Power Automate, add a step to your flow. You can add this step anywhere after the step that finds or creates the date time value that you want to reformat, and before the step where you send the formatted time somewhere else. The message sent timestamp comes from the trigger in my automation, so I'll add this step right after it. In the Choose an Operation window, search for Date. You should see this built-in date time option pop up. Select it to see what operations it includes. Now, you'll notice that there's nothing in this list that mentions date time format or reformat or anything with the word format, but that's okay. Remember, this is still Microsoft, and good user experience really isn't their priority. That's why I'm here to help. This convert time zone action actually includes an option to reformat the time that you're converting and doesn't require you to convert the time zone if you don't want to. However, many apps process all timestamps in the universal coordinated time or UTC instead of your local time zone. So using this convert time zone step will often be quite convenient. So select convert time zone and add the action to your flow. Then you'll just have four fields to fill out here. First, for base time, you'll need to enter the time that you want to convert and or reformat. You can enter a date time manually, but in most cases you probably want to use a date time value retrieved automatically from a previous step. Click on Add Dynamic Content to open up the Dynamic Content window if it doesn't automatically open up when you select the field. Then, click on the date time value you want to use. In my case, that will be this Received Time variable from the trigger. Next, in the Source Time Zone field, you'll need to specify the original time zone of your timestamp. This will usually be either your local time zone or UTC. Just use the drop down menu to pick the correct option. In our example, this timestamp is in UTC. Then, choose the time zone you want to convert the timestamp to. If you don't want to change the time zone, then just use the same time zone that you chose as the source time zone. Once again, you can use the drop down to find your choice. Since I want it in my local US Eastern Time, I'll choose Eastern Standard Time here. Finally, we get to the part where you can actually specify a new format for your date and time. The dropdown will give you several common layouts, but you can also enter a custom format manually. I've put some official help docs in this video's resources board that explain every option for displaying the month, day, hour, minute, second, and so on. You can find the resources board linked in this video's description. For my example, I'll enter this format to display the date with two digits for the month, day, and year, and then show the time with an AM or PM as appropriate. Note that you don't need to enclose your format string in quotes. Just enter it directly. Once your convert time zone step is all set, you just need to make sure that any subsequent steps now use the reformatted and converted timestamp instead of the original one. In my example, I just need to edit the Slack message step. I'll delete the original received time variable and replace it with this converted time variable. Now that your automation is updated, save it and give it a test. If this is the first time testing your flow, you'll probably need to test it manually. Otherwise, you can use data from a previous test to trigger your automation. I'll select manually and click test. Now, I'll flag an email in my Outlook inbox to trigger the automation. In Power Automate, it says that everything ran successfully but I'll just check Slack directly to confirm that the message looks good. And here's the message, with the correctly converted and reformatted time. That's it, we're all set. We've successfully reformatted and converted the time just by using the convert time zone action. 
Power Automate makes it easy to reformat your dates and times. Their naming just makes it a little tricky to find the right automated action, but once you've found the convert time zone option, you'll be ready to go. If there are any other automated tips you'd like to see us cover for Power Automate, Zapier, Make, or any other automation provider, just let us know in the comments down below. Your suggestion could become our next video. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow. Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. In X-Ray's workflow design course, we'll show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation and how to seamlessly integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Go to course.xray.tech to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon in our workflow designer course.